Tonight, I want to bring in Callahan Walsh with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children to take a deeper dive on this. Callahan, thank you for being here. I was looking at your website. It says 460,000 kids are reported missing every single year in the United States. I, I would imagine a lot of them are found successfully and quickly, thankfully, but how many are missing tonight? So at the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, we're working on the active missing children's cases. And as you mentioned, sometimes it's a child who's next door playing video games at their friend's house. They just forgot to tell mom where they went, you know, that afternoon. And, and, and those aren't, the, of course, the cases we're working. We're working the, the real cases that, that where children are, are legitimately missing and have, have gone missing for, for a period of time. We're actively working on about 30,000 missing children's cases at, at any one point at the National yeah. Center. And there just really are so many of, of these kids that go missing that fly underneath the radar. You know, I think if it was 30,000 NFL players that we were looking for, it'd be a bigger news story. But, you know, un unfortunately, yeah. uh, it, sometimes the cases capture the, the nation's attention and sometimes they fly right under the radar. And for the desperate cases, as you say, 30,000 right now, not for the child, you know, down the street at the park, forgot to tell mom he was going. How do you go about attracting a spotlight on them? Because, again, 30,000 can be overwhelming. It's like, where do I start? Right. You know, at the National Center, we want as much attention as the Gabby case has gotten on every single case that we have. And at the National Center, we want to make sure that these children are getting the attention that they deserve. There are so many cases where we see the nation's media pick up on certain cases and pass by others, and it's really unfortunate. We are not the media at the National Center. We're a nonprofit organization that, that is the clearinghouse for the nation's issues dealing with missing and exploited children. We do have social media handles, and that's what we turn to. We're constantly putting out uh, our posters of missing children, about 10 to 15 a day. Many of them are children of color. In fact, children of color are overrepresented in the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's Missing Children's Database. Uh, black children in America represent about 15% of the U.S. child population, according to the U.S. Census. They represent about 40% of our missing children's cases. That overrepresentation is not a good thing. And at the same time, they're not being represented in the media. That's a huge problem. You talk about media coverage being crucial, whether it's an advocacy organization like yours, whether it's, God forbid, you're a parent saying, you guys, pay attention. I love my child. I need to know where they are. When do you see reporters and editors, because I don't want to leave out editors, they're important to driving the news. When do they pay attention to a case? They pay attention when the victim is blonde hair, blue eyed and white. Uh, or, or one of those things, unfortunately. And we see that time and time again. And it happened with my brother's case back in, in 1981 when my brother Adam went missing. It was one of the first missing children's case, cases to capture the media's attention. And he was a, a beautiful little boy, a white boy. Um, but there were so many other children of color at that time that were going missing that weren't getting the attention. In fact, my parents received many, many letters after Adam's disappearance. The Hollywood the Hollywood. Uh, Post Office, Hollywood Florida Post Office, believes that they delivered about 40,000 pieces of mail to my parents in the aftermath of Adam's disappearance. Many were letters of condolence, but many were letters from other families, especially families of, of, of children of color whose cases were not getting the attention that Adam's case got. That's when my parents knew they need to do something for these children and create the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, which they did in 1984. So we've come a long way. We're still battling. We're still trying to bring every ounce of attention because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's about getting the image of a missing child out to the public and somebody spotting and recognizing that child and helping in the reunification. I shared with you, we got this overwhelming response saying, Little Jane down the street, who's black, is not probably going to get the same attention as little John Benet down the street. You're saying that's not a matter of perception. You, you work in this day in and day out. You're saying that's a reality. Could we make this constructive? What do we do about it? So, you know, we challenge the public to make that change. At the National Center, you can go to our website, missingkids.org, and search through our database. Look for a child that's not getting the attention that you think it's not getting it or you think it deserves. If you find a child in your area or an underserved community or a child, any child that you think isn't getting the attention, you can take that poster and post it to your social media feeds and share that with the world. We challenge anybody to go out there, go to the website, find that missing children's poster, share it on social media, be part of the change. You could be the reason that a family is being reunited with their child. 
All it takes is for you to post that image and the right person to see it. So as the public, as, as, as this collective, we can make that difference and we can make that change. And social media has given us that power. Social media seems to be taking it in, in several cases right now. Callahan Walsh, thank you for sharing this tonight. Thank you for turning a devastating situation in your own family into something to help others. We appreciate you being with us here on Newsy. Thank you very much.